what's with the because the Elon hate? I don't know what I'm saying. Because I'm telling you, he's a super villain. <laughs> you did say that last week, I, didn't you? I, I, he was a super villain. Each each time I hear his name, it it's further confirming that he is becoming a super villain. He hasn't quite gotten there yet, but he's on his way. He's really contemplating. What has he done? That would. What really pushed me over the edge <laughs> is the fact that he wants people to pay to be verified. Hi, hello, hey, and welcome to this episode of Rushed Vibes. I'm Jess, and this is david and we are here to rush the vibe with you i like the better when you call me dave because you're jess i'm dave but when you say i'm jess this is david oh it's just i'm jessica <laughs> this is david that's better david <clears throat> what's up pimpin How's it going? It's going. It's going. Yeah, a little perky for almost ten o'clock at night. Am I? Yeah. It's probably this Cabernet Sauvignon, which is my favorite red wine. Cabernet Sauvignon. What? Sauvignon. Sauvignon. Secret. Does it seem brighter in here? Uh, no. Your eyes might be tired. I probably are. I was full transparency. I was asleep right before we came in and started recording. So I'm trying to get back into the to the swing of things. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. I remember what I was gonna write down. You want to point to your point to your board again? One day you all will see this board. I really want to get up and write it. Yeah. So how was your weekend? It's good. Yeah. It was good. What'd you do? I made. What I didn't know was a six and a half hour drive to Corolla Beach, which might as well have been Virginia. Like, I don't know that I've ever been that northeast in North Carolina. Um, And when I got there, I just looked at flights and I was like, if I ever have to make this drive again, I'm flying. Because I think round trips were like 180 bucks to fly into Norfolk. So I don't know how far Norfolk is but i was like i'd rather uber (laughs) than make that six hour six and a half hour drive um but the wonderful leah wiggs was hosting a made for more women's retreat um you all should be familiar with leah wiggs if you watched last season or a an avid viber uh she was one of our First guest, third guest. She was a guest. She was a guest. Yeah. She one was of a- our last guests, actually. Okay. One of our last guests before I popped. Um, she is an amazing powerhouse of a woman. She's a disruptive life coach. She is a disruptive life coach. Um, she's a disruptive person in a good way. I don't say that in a bad way. And she self describes herself. What? She disrupted my weekend by she- inviting you to Corolla Beach. I'll tell you that. She, she did. And, you know, it was one of those things that I, I went back and forth about going. And that was before I knew it was six and a half hours. I thought it was just six. And for some reason, that 30 minutes, I don't know, for me, I, I do things in increments of 30. And that additional 30 minutes was very make or break. Um, she invited me with no pressure at all but i i i felt that i should be there and take the opportunity so i went and i met some amazing women i didn't i did already know one woman who attended uh but this was just it was a good weekend and i feel as if i stepped away enlightened uh new perspectives uh better better so um i highly highly recommend attending these uh they're just if you just kind of feel like you're uncertain of what you're you're purposed for or 
what God has for you, this is this is definitely the type of event to attend. So um, it's made for more. Leah Wiggs will maybe insert her information. She ain't pay for no ad placement. We are not giving her no. Anywho, uh, no clout. So yeah, so that's what I did. That's what I did this weekend. And she I, wasn't Leah, Leah Wiggs last time. Which I was trying to remember. You sure she wasn't married? I mean, she was married, but she wasn't going by. Yeah, she was still Leah Nicole. Leah Nicole. But now she is officially walking in her married name. Her wigs is. She's officially walking in her wig. Her wigsdom. (laughs) We're going to say wigsdom. Her wigs. Her wigsdom. Okay. So that's what I did. Nice. And now I am live and local until I'm not live (laughs) until the next trip. But uh, yeah. Must be nice. I mean, you're on the next trip. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know what it's like to be a jet setter. I'm not, not a jet. I drove. It's not. It's not in the cards. For the me. last trip I drove. It's not jet set. I'm just saying. Uh, second straight episode. With no, no shoes for me. I'm actually feeling very much at home. It's the crazy funky socks too, but they coordinate with my my mental health. Is health t-shirt, sweatshirt, hoodie. I um, need a pedicure, so if I don't have a pedicure, I'm not going to be shoeless or sockless. I appreciate that. <laughs> you're supposed <laughs> to say something like, baby, your feet are perfect. I mean, whether I say it or not, you're still going to have your feelings, so what difference does it make? I am. This is, these are accurate. accurate I know. You know how I know? Because I've been married eight years. I'm an OG in the game. I know. I'm an I'm OG. I'm an OG in the game. I know how it go. Anywho, what's good with you? I'm just here. I exist. Barely hanging on. <laughs> Barely hanging on. Um, trying to get to the next Wednesday. Is the blonde in my hair going to blend in with the background? Of this yeah. Thing? So when I do the when I do the um just the look. thumb when I do the thumbnail. And I do the background um, image. Like I take the background out. It might take your hair with it. So it might be a bit of a problem. So I need to like lean this way? You'll be fine. I'm just kidding. Oh. That's I mean, funny. or maybe it won't. I'm going to look bald and look like that. Be right. We know you're not bald. Not bald headed. Because I was going to do a lower ponytail, but I didn't want to look bald. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so here we are. New week, new episode. New week, new episode. I am being diligent about coming with topics and writing them down. It's awesome. I see you're just fast forwarding past how I'm doing, but oh, that's okay. No, said, it's, no, it's I okay. We stopped with like no, just okay. hanging on. It's okay, go on. I didn't. I didn't know how much we wanted to unpack. No, because I was talking, and then you were worried about your little. Oh, my little my blonde. Your little your little bun. It's okay. Well, no, let's let's puff. continue uh, as you were. No. Oh, I was just saying I'm being more diligent, mm-hmm. a sign that you all cannot see, uh, of coming with topics and writing them down. And I have the topic that I didn't write down. I remembered it, so it's up here. Well, I would love to keep this at an hour, so we might not get to it. Because you got a lot of stuff up there. Okay. How are you? I'm ready to discuss these topics. Okay. Why? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... I'm what did you say that one time? I, I kept cutting you off. You're like, I'm no longer in the mood to. I, I can't. I can't get to what I was trying to do. I'm no longer in the mood. So that's me. Nah, I'm just ready for next week. Wake up! Wake up for chapter thirty-five on a beach. On a beach, thirty-five. Thirty-five. Thirty-five years young. Thirty-five years young. I still got to get your birthday dinner outfit. I still got to get your yes. my birthday dinner outfit. You ain't got to. You ain't got to do all that. You have something to wear. I have clothes, <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to get all. I don't need to go out there like Ronald Isley or nothing. I just I'll just go as I am. Is he the really good looking old man? Like just period or no? Within like, the is group? he the one? Is he the one? In, There's a lot of they, good looking old men. No, but one of them, like they refer to him, like, like yeah. with the beard. Contagious. Yeah. I don't know these people's names. Oh, that's not his, <laughs> that name. That's the song he had with oh, R. Kelly. It's like, oh. yeah. 
No, his name is not contagious. Like, it's Ron Isaac. Okay, that sounds like a rapper's name, but cool. You're contagious. Yeah, yeah I know. you know the song. Come on. Oh, they probably don't play it anymore because of R. Kelly. I don't think that, I don't think that's one that we could give up. It's not. I don't think so. And yeah. the fact that Ron Isley is in it, I think yeah, he trumps. He is a saving grace. Him. Maybe they'll remix it with somebody else, like redo it. Um, before we get deep into it, it is the day before election day. That's what but I you will to write see down. this the after day after election, election day. day. But if you're behind and get up and vote, I'm very don't do, don't do this. Very disappointed with you. Don't do this, especially if you live in the state of Georgia or if you have the access to do an absentee ballot in the state of. You know, Georgia. I heard in Cobb County, um, people didn't get set their absentee ballot, uh, oh, absentee voter ballots. They're already starting, and they've. Uh, I think there's a group that was trying to sue. As they should. And get it delayed or, or get them to accept later they submissions. Absolutely should. But Because you know Cobb County is one of the, the largest black counties. Well, it's one of the ones that reported late and ended up turning for, or they counted their their early votes late and ended up flipping Georgia, I think, for the election. Flipping it blue. Because mm-hmm. well, okay. remember, Trump was in the lead and then he was like, stop oh, the yeah. count. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need you to stop counting. Stop the count. So kind of I was laughing way. about that with Alan the other day when he came over. <laughs> I was like, how you just... <laughs> you want to tell people to stop counting? Stop the count. Just stop Stop voting because I mean, I'm the, winning. He got the number he wanted. I'm winning, so stop. Yeah. I mean, I, That's crazy. as foolish as that man was, a lot of his stuff is accurate. Like, you know, you don't want to get negative COVID results. Stop, stop testing Stop people. testing. I got the answer I wanted. I won so far. Stop. Stop, stop counting. I'm, I'm, I won thus far. Yeah. But yes. You know, it's rumored that he'll he's going to announce after I the... I saw. Yeah. I saw a snippet. I didn't hear a lot of it. I know he was going on about Ron DeSantis well, and uh, who's the other guy? Rubio? And then he said something about he's got a big announcement. Was that supposed to be tomorrow? Is that supposed to be tomorrow or later this week? Uh, I would assume later this week. <coughs> if you think about it, it makes sense, right? Because if this red wave happens, you get a lot of momentum. No, per, no better time than to announce mm-hmm. on the heels of, of all that. Assuming the red wave but happens. But if it doesn't happen, it's a good time to go anyway. You're right. It's a good time. So he, win, reg- he, regardless. he wins mm-hmm. either way. I, I don't know True. how this evil genius is able to, to manipulate like a grand manipulator. But yeah, I hopefully when you see this episode, you voted. We early voted. On do this. They, people need to know that we voted. Yes, they do. It's a private matter. No, it's not. It is. It's really not. If they give you a sticker for something, it's not a private matter. Uh, We voted early on Thursday um, or Thursday afternoon, but it was early voting. So, yeah, I just wanted to plug voting. um, And I am going to be very excited to watch my guy. Wolf Blitzer. John King. You know who you got to go? You're lying. (laughs) See, and they had to make cuts, man. You're they, lying. you know, they, you saw they moved on Lemon got, to the morning. They got rid of Cuomo. They can afford to keep John King. He didn't get let go, did he? You didn't hear? Don't play, because you know John King. <laughs> Don't play. I didn't. I know. He's, as far as I know, he didn't <laughs> get let go. John King is my guy. Yeah. He's like Mariah Carey for you, Christmas people. He comes out. He defrosts. For elections, no, I know I have, he has a show, but I only concern myself with. I got, him. I got love for John King. He's a good, he's a good guy. He's a good dude. The board, anyway, good man. All right, let's chat. Let's chat. Take it away. Uh, so topics we have. Should we read the topics or just? No, we should just get uh, into it because we might not hit all of. Because I don't know what. Can I do? Do I just pick one? Sure. Okay. We'll do topic roulette. Um. <laughs> this is, I wasn't ready for this. Uh, who, are, who do I not want to talk about? Well, let's just go with Kyrie. Kyrie. Anti say what? That's it's clever. I like Isn't that. It? You gonna make that the title of the episode? No, I actually. You know, what's crazy is I already had a title for the episode because I figured we, I'd be the only one to bring something. So I was gonna talk about that, and I figured that would just kind of be it. We do some some banter, but. Didn't I say what? It's actually pretty creative. So may, I may have, depends on how long we talk about it. You it's know, clever. I do marketing anyway. So. Do you? 
Do you really? I mean, I literally. But work do you though? I literally work for marketing agencies. Uh, so allegedly, it's not what my pay stub says. No, your pay stub. Your pay stub says dollar bills. That's what it says. Uh, dollar bills, y'all. Anyway, so last we spoke, you were actually schooling me, providing me education regarding Kyrie. Now I had known he had gotten into. Some stuff. That's when we spoke on camera or off yeah, camera? Yeah, on the camera. On the episode. What were we talking about? You told me that he got in trouble for sharing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't, I, I had seen some snippets about it, but I didn't know much about it, of the situation. So I did my own research. And by my own research, I mean I listened to other people's podcasts. Uh <laughs> I mean, it's form of research. It is, you know, it's what that's considered. A, I don't know if you could cite it in a it, academic is paper, that considered but a second, second source, secondary source, or a third, third year. Is that not a word? I've heard someone use that word recently. Please don't. What's third? Thrice. No, thrice that, is is a word. That's for three. What's like after secondary? What do you say? I don't know. So third year. Sure. Okay. Just roll with it. Um, I'm gonna look it up. So that's what I did. Saw that he had been since we had spoken. He had been suspended for five days. I think you and I even talked about it while five while, games. Five days, five games. No, it's, this, it's not the same. You the don't play games, five. They don't play five straight games, games. Take place on days. That's five days. He was suspended. But okay. Go ahead. Um, at least five days. Five games is the minimum. So correct. Thank you. So we were chatting and I've listened and I've heard that he's now five unpaid games. Correct. Which I thought, like, when do they pay out your contract? Uh, At the beginning of the season? I think there's different ways you could take receipt of your payment, your paycheck. I don't know how. Because I was just like. Some guys get paid um, like once a month. Some people get paid. Is it like, I think there are different ways you can structure your payment. Pay based off of games. Like, is your contract divided up by the number of games in a season? Oh, that's a good question. Okay. Because to say he gets paid, he's going to sit out five games unpaid. I'm just wondering how they're... I would, I would assume so. Him that, for the month? That's probably a good... Because okay. if they paid him at the beginning of the month, we're in the middle of November, is he supposed to give a refund? Is he going to run back the money? December? Do they just short him five games? Whatever. Neither here nor let's, there. Let's go with the assumption that so, they're paid on a game basis, um, per game basis. He was in an interview. They asked him if, essentially, if he could freely say he was anti-Semitic. And he was like, being who I am, I can't be anti-Semitic. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were like, so are you anti-Semitic? Yes or no? And he was like. Being who I am, I can't be anti-Semitic. His face and his voice don't match to me. That's neither here nor there. So, like, listening to his voice doesn't really match his face for me. No, I heard what you said. <laughs> it's because that doesn't make sense. Uh, no, I mean, you don't have like, to repeat, your, <laughs> repeat have you yourself. Have like, seen somebody and then they talk and you're like, I mean, that's yeah. not the voice I was expecting. I mean, I guess I'm used to it because I've seen you him. You see him. Yeah, yeah, I don't really hear him um, often. I see his face. I don't hear sure. him. So he got suspended and I guess they're making him go through all of these courses of learning of, you know, essentially proving to not be anti-Semitic. And I'm... I'm personally not going to speak too deeply on it because I think there's a lot of stuff that I still need to learn and cancel culture is real and grace is very limited in this world. So I ain't trying to say the wrong thing and have to start taking courses myself. So I love everybody um, and everybody should be equal. My opinion though, because from what I've heard, from what I've seen, there are mixed reviews in terms of how people are responding to this punishment that he's receiving and i think it's a very fine line and i'm going to declare just give me grace if i say the wrong thing but it's a very fine line that we're we're treading because you have essentially Kyrie, who is a member of a marginalized group who has in a way offended another marginalized group and i'm not going to get into the depths of that But I think my biggest takeaway is there needs to be a universal 
disciplinary action on a corporate level when these type of things take place. And I mean, it needs to be universal regardless of race, gender, creed. Someone, someone drops the N word. We're going to make them spend a week with Al Sharpton. That's, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> you got to go, because, you got to go sit down with Al Sharpton. <laughs> because you have like, you know, people keep, and we touched on it last week. People keep bringing, or maybe in our own conversation, sometimes I can't tell if we talked about it on the pod or together, but, um, all this stuff about Kanye, people have been going back and forth. When Kanye was saying that slavery was an option, no one, you know, dropped him from their their lines, whatever. When Kanye was, you know, talking about when he was wearing, you know, what did he do? He wore a Confederate. With the Confederate um, flag, no one was like, mm-hmm. oh, this is a problem. But as soon as he said something that was considered, you know, offensive, and anti-Semitic, that's when, you know, that was like the last straw. So my takeaway is it needs to be a universal disciplinary action where if you are saying something that is, is considered or should be seen as offensive to any group, whether it be Native Americans, whether it be blacks, whether it be Asian Americans, any race, um, any religion, sorry, there's like a fire truck going through. Sounds really close. Wait for that citizen's app to drop. Uh, you need to go through some kind of cultural diversity, inclusivity, boot camp training. Like this should, I should really start this. This should be a business where it's an institute where you have to take, just like how you have to get like accredited before you can run for like political parties. You need to go through this coursework, but it shouldn't just be limited to you know, if you say something that's considered anti-Semitic, you just feel like you need, I think people need to be educated across the spectrum. Uh, so that's where I stand on the matter. And I think that's why so many people are upset because things can be done, said against black people. And there isn't this extreme of a response for the hurt that is instilled. But there are other groups where when something happens, the action is more actionable. So I think that there just needs to be a universal playing field where we are making sure that if someone is doing something offensive to any group, they are receiving some kind of education, um, some kind of mediation where they're leaving the experience. So I feel like so that it'll deter people regardless. That's why I'll stop and give you a chance to speak. Um, okay. It's different. Not exactly what I expected from me? you to go. Where'd you expect me to go? I thought we were just going to talk about just everything that happened in general. Um, we can talk. I feel like you know more details of it. I know surface level. Well, counterpoint. Mm. You remember, uh, Donald Sterling? Nappy headed hoes. That's Don Amos. <sighs> but we'll take the point. Okay. You remember Don Amos? Yeah. He said nappy headed hoes. He did. What happened? He did some kind of. Lost he, a lot yeah. of advertisers, and I got believe he got, he got a job again. But how long? I mean, but he he lost um, advertisers from his show, mm-hmm. right? Um. Sterling is the owner of the uh, Clippers. Remember what happened with him? He lost his he, he lost his team. Why? Because he had a problem with his half black, half Mexican girlfriend taking a picture with Magic Johnson. Yeah, said some pretty racist things, mm-hmm. right? And his ex wife emphasized <laughs> that she went to Neiman Marcus and not uh, Nordstrom. <laughs> First of all, I didn't even worry. That's there, the first time I realized that the, there was like a hierarchy there, of there. There are levels to this. Yeah. That's why I know I couldn't be. I couldn't be wealthy. I couldn't be esteemed because. Okay, I need you to take that out your vocabulary. I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't know the difference. Like, I would just be like, "Yeah, we'd be at like some." And I'd correct you. We'd be at like some thousand dollar plate fundraiser. I believe like, I was a TJ Maxx. <laughs> Got these sneaks for like. 
twenty percent off. But you know, rich people do appreciate a deal. They'd be they like, do. Oh wow, what they is do. this TJ Maxx you speak of? Um, yeah, Sterling lost his team. Robert Sarver, do? right? He's the owner of the Suns. Who's deciding? What to him? There was an investigation into uh, the workplace and some things he said, and apparently he was. He said the N-word, but he said it as he was quoting somebody. Now, and there's there's a rumor. <laughs> there's a rumor that he had emailed or communicated with somebody saying that the players, obviously the team was predominantly black, <laughs> needed a black coach. And it's, it hasn't been, I don't, I don't believe it's been substantiated, but it's rumored as him saying these N-words need an N-word. <laughs> Which is? Do they get a black? So believable. Did yeah. they get a black? Yeah. Which is so believable <laughs> that anyone would, that any, you know, person would would say that. So yeah, it's not hard to believe. Like- but no, but these are like these aren't just like mm-hmm. music artists. These yeah. aren't just NBA players. These aren't these are politicians. These are billionaires. Yeah. And being a billionaire comes with a lot of power and influence. And you get to play by rules that a lot of other people don't get mm-hmm. to play by. And you get to disregard a lot of rules that other people have to abide by. So I'm just saying, counterpoint, it's not it's not as if when nasty things are said about black people, there aren't repercussions. I don't think that that's the case because those are two examples. And recent, like I, those are just the two that came off the top of my head because we're talking about basketball. I'm sure there are others out there that we could come that I could come up with. To your point, I don't know that I act because you know you just referenced you know billionaires, and I don't know that I believe these people lose their full access. Though I think, what do you mean? Because I think there's still you know you have silent owners. You have you Kanye know, still worth four hundred million. I'm not talking about. But I'm just saying, as I'm in, not talking about the rapper from Chicago. I'm talking about these billionaires that you, these no, old but white I'm, billionaires. But what I'm saying about. is, even if they still have their connections or whatever, like, because the example you used was Kanye lost, you know, things happened to Kanye once mm-hmm. he started saying things that are anti Semitic, but he's still worth 400 million. Yeah. Like, which he is still a has a substantial amount of money. Yeah. But so, I'm, I'm not speaking of him because. To be blunt, he's black. So, you know, he his access in, in certain circles is, is different. And I don't know that he realizes that all the time. I'm referencing these older white men who come from money, who, you know, own basketball teams and can say, and say these things. Yes, I think from a surface level, just for the fact that it became public, they get removed, but I don't, there's, I have no doubt that they still have some form of ownership, some form of profitability from these teams that we just aren't, we just don't see because we are so low on the totem pole. But I mean, people who are billionaires, they, they secure themselves and that that's how they become billionaires and that's how they stay and keep the wealth with, between them and people who own these type of franchises, these type of businesses, um, in corporations, this is how they talk amongst themselves. So I don't feel that mm-hmm. I feel like in closed quarters in you know, secret Illuminati rooms where they're smoking like crazy cigars or people's body parts, whatever they do. Um, they're saying things like this. Like I think, him saying these need a um, coach. Uh, he like how I censored myself. Uh, I think this is something he's probably said in a public forum, in a in a place with other people like him, and they probably agreed and were like, "Yeah, you're right." So I I I I absolutely see where you're coming from. I see what has been done surface level that we've seen. Oh yeah, they're no longer the owner of this. They're no longer able to do that. Um, from what we see, but they're not, it's not like they're standing on a street corner begging. They're still there. I feel they're still making some kind of profits from these corporations that they've invested their money in. These are just, you know, hobby businesses for them. I don't think that the punishment for them 
it doesn't it's more embarrassment but i don't know that it's actually substantial as what's happening to someone like the rapper from chicago or so if, a Kyrie. You, if you have to sell a franchise that's worth two billion dollars i feel like what i'm saying is part of that sale i feel some they still have some form of ownership is what i'm saying mm. yeah. no, I'm, uh, what I'm, I, okay i feel like you, you you don't watch enough tv shows um oh i don't watch enough fiction is what you're saying oh okay <laughs> i'm just saying these these type of people don't give up their power that easily even if they get in trouble even if they've said something that's offensive the the billions of dollars gets you different kind of power than thousands hundreds of thousands and even millions like it's just a different category so i don't I, yes i'm sure there's some loss but i don't think that it's significant so sure i appreciate that that's your perspective on it but see as the same way i don't watch no tv shows i have a master's in business so I kind of know how these things work. Oh, are you business flexing? I'm fl- are I'm, you flexing I'm, on me? I don't use it often. Wow. But I'm really kind of kind of versed in the space. Not not like a Harvard MBA by no means, but um, I kind of know. How- Yellow Wilmington MBA. Hmm. Yellow Wilmington MBA. Low. Low <laughs> Wilmington MBA. I don't be dropping it where I got my my degree from either. Appreciate it. Um. You can cut it out. I can't cut it out, can I? Power of editing. Just say what you you learn with I'm your just, little education. I'm just saying I, I kinda know how I'm not say I'm not saying I don't know it, but I'm also what I'm saying that I feel like you're not You're here, saying you're saying that they're still going to make some kind of profit. You well if you sell something, yes, you no, make a profit. I, I still and by profit I mean they're still gonna have some form of hold on it. No. Okay. I'm not gonna have this. Like Steve Ballmer is not gonna let Donald Sterling still have um a stake in the Clippers when he bought it with the consortium of uh, other investors. Okay. Now what Donald Sterling does have is I th- I believe he still has a lot of his real estate. Okay. Um or is that am I confusing with Dr. West? I think they both did real estate. But no, I I just disagree. Okay. I think that's that's okay that we disagree on that. Um, but I don't know that I got to finish my point. So I think the question, I think your statement was there should be a blanket um, course or procedure that you go through when you make offensive statements, you're deemed to have made an offensive statement or statements about um, a certain group of people. And um, I don't know how you regulate that. Uh, I don't know how you- It's like all dictatorship. I'm, I think I'm low key a Gilead person where there should be like a council. So I don't know how you enforce that, but um, I think in in theory, I think it'd be great. I mean, we take most big corporations have a diversity and inclusion training that they require you to take every year, and uh, you know, if you can get that, you could you could probably get something like. But if you think of like a small scale person, I mean, it's not going to happen. Like like if I went in there and said some stuff. Like if I said some stuff and like it works like some anti-Semitic stuff, I wouldn't go through a training. I would probably just either get fired or I quit because think about what the people you work with, mm-hmm. how they look at you, how they, how they treat you. Like it just wouldn't be the same. That's why a lot of people, like when if they end up suing a company or, um, you know, they call out their company for whatever or something, you know, they end up leaving because it's just, just makes things like a little too awkward. So, I don't know. It might work, but I mean, it wouldn't work. That would be a perfect world scenario, and that's, that's not what we live in. Um, sure. I mean, a perfect world scenario. We wouldn't have instances where people are saying things that are 
anti-Semitic or seen as anti-Semitic, racist, whatever. So um, it's just something that I thought, like, I thought about Nick Cannon. And when Nick Cannon, I can't remember what he said, but he apparently said something um, that was anti- was anti-Semitic or perceived, received as anti-Semitic. Um, I think something along the lines of, like, blacks are, like, the original Jews or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um and he ended up having to, I can't remember the name of the the organization, but he like had to sit, he went and sat down with them and had meetings with them and, you know, got educated from them, uh, which I don't, dis, I don't dispute in any way, shape or form. But I also think that that's something that needs to be done when. So you'll, uh, see, you'll see what Al Sharpton. Yeah. Does it have to be? Al? I, mean, I guess no one else of this generation has really I mean, risen up. I mean, so who else is going to be? It's, it's going to be Al. Uh, it's just is a. Uh, oh, did he die? It's Jesse Jackson. Why are you? Alive. Why are you whispering? I'm like, I don't know. no. He did die. Mm-mm. He didn't die. Mm-mm. Where he, he been? did? I think he did get COVID, but I don't he think did he... get COVID and he got real skinny too. Um, but he didn't die. Sorry, I'm not. I didn't mean. To, I just haven't heard your name in a while. Um, Jessica, we're putting people in the grave. I do. I've been doing it since I was a kid. I like if I don't see someone in six months. Like I was certain Barbara Walters had died like five years ago. She's not dead. We just celebrated her birthday a few months back. Haven't seen her since 2016, but she's not dead. Anyway, um, I guess Jesse Jack. I, I, and people have said it that we don't have someone in the black community of our generation who really like has that caliber of an MLK, uh, Malcolm X. No, uh, just because he played. No, nah, see, man, you haven't. No, he's you not. You don't be paying attention. No, he's, no that's you not him. He's no, not a don't. civil rights leader. You don't pay attention. Denzel's not a civil no, rights leader. No, because you don't because you don't pay attention. He's not. So you didn't see how he de-escalated that situation back during COVID in 2020 when that, uh, there was a young black man that was distraught. Cops was trying we're trying to um, I did contain see that. He's and Denzel still not Gatto. a civil rights leader. You didn't see that speech he gave to them kids at the uh, acting school? I did. He's still not one of my a civil favorite, rights leader. One of my favorite speeches. He's still not a civil Denzel's rights leader. Denzel's capable. More than capable. I didn't say he wasn't capable. I said he's not he a is. civil rights leader. He could be. When you think about black civil rights leaders... I think you about Denzel. <laughs> You're lying. You are lying. I think about the hurricane. You're lying. You think, like hate you said, put, you hate, said Al Sharpton like put three me, times. Hate put me you didn't behind even bars. Remember Jesse Jackson. Love's and gonna he's bust me alive. out. I, I remember Jesse Jackson. No, I just thought of Al Sharpton. Refer- you, no, Al Sharpton is on I'm the. I'm saying we don't have someone of this generation. Like when God calls Al home, who's who's gonna step in? Denzel. <laughs> All right, John. I'm not doing John this. David. No. Colin Kaepernick. No. We ain't heard from Colin Kaepernick in like two years. He got that check, and you we, haven't heard from Colin Kaepernick. What do you hear about Colin? <laughs> Colin, Colin Kaepernick. What did you hear about from Colin Kaepernick? He got that check. That's not true. Don't don't talk like them. You're not one of them. Don't talk like them. I'm not one of who. Them. Who's them? You know them. Try to discredit oh, Colin. Tip. No, oh. try, like, try to discredit Colin and what he what he did. I I value Colin Kaepernick, and he's half Ghanaian, so I have to. <laughs> I'm obligated. Uh, we know how you feel about me talking about my heritage. Everybody, um, everybody's Ghanaian. Y'all related? I don't know. You don't know nobody. He hasn't shown up in my ancestry as a <laughs> as a linked a linked relative. <laughs> but uh, I got Ghanaian in me. What if we're relatives? Ew. Straight Game of Thrones style, huh? We're not because I would have connected with your dad because he has done his aunt. Has he done his DNA? I don't think so. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, he made me lose my whole. Umar, of Umar Johnson. Umar Johnson is absolutely. <laughs> Doctor Umar. Absolutely hey, not. You're He's on Twitter. You're on. Tw- I need to spend my time on Twitter and follow. No context, Doctor Umar. Like they just post post random like no. clips and memes of him. No, it's fancy. Look, if I could get paid to just sit on Twitter, no, I'm not listening. I'm not. Even if it was like a, a measly thirty k, and I know that to some people thirty k is a lot of money, although inflation is really not that much. I would do it. Twitter gives me so much. You don't understand. So Elon Musk company is. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Are we segueing? Okay. Let's I go. Mean, let's can. go. Let's go like with it. Everything. Since you won't, you won't accept my 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 nominations it's for. Not, it's not. I love Denzel. It's not him. Um. So Elon Musk. Denzel could do it. Elon Musk. She wait. No, I just I felt I heard the floorboards moving. So I get. You thought she got out of the crib. <laughs> I don't know. I was checking Savi. Um, oh okay. So Elon Musk. Must. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk. That's what I wrote there. Elon Musk oh. what? Elon Musk what, own what everything. Must, That's what I wrote. Um, are you saying like Elon Musk or are you saying Elon Musk? Like he, he must, must he must be. He must he must be musty. Um so he bought Twitter. What how long has it been? Two weeks? I hadn't heard. You hadn't heard? That he bought Twitter. We talked about it last week. I know. So he bought Twitter, walked in with the sink, fired a bunch of people, got into the thing where he was um, going to lay everybody off or lay a bunch, like had like lay off roulette. roulette. Like, I don't know how you're just going to randomly pick who you're going to lay off. They realized that that's low-key illegal. I don't know what's happened, but I saw a bunch of like California, like employment lawyers were like, so if he does this, it's a wrap. Um, they were really going hard. Like I was actually very impressed. Like that's the good thing about social media. Like when social media rallies, they rally. It was interesting that they did it all on Twitter. So like, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I'm hoping somebody rises up and creates a new social media that's similar to Twitter, but not Twitter so that, um, people can Why? just leave Twitter so that he could have a loss. Like, I just think, I just, what's, with, what's with the, because the Elon hate, I don't understand I, because that. I'm telling you, he's a super villain. <laughs> you did say that last week, I, didn't I, you? I, I, he was a super villain. Each, each time I hear his name, it it's further confirming that he is becoming a super villain. He hasn't quite gotten there yet, but he's on his way. He's really contemplating. What has he done? That would, what really pushed me over the edge is the fact that he wants people to pay to be verified. But it's a private. There's a, there's a process of being verified. And what made it even worse is that he said power to the people and then wants to charge them for the blue check mark. What? Well, I, I know for people who apply uh, for some people who applied to be verified and had yet to be approved that's something that they really wanted was to be verified so now it's are you gonna play, pay for a blue check mark if it's eight dollars a month <laughs> probably not i'm not i don't need to be verified i don't worry about anybody in person i just me. feel if there's a process to be verified and unfortunately you haven't fulfilled that well i think you shouldn't be able to buy it i think the biggest issue was for the legacy process or whatever it was it was even though there were general, uh, there was a general outline of what you needed to criteria you needed to meet. It was still very arbitrary. Like there were some people who met the criteria, but just still weren't having the verification application approved. So now you go from that to pay dollars. I think there should still at least be a standard. Like I think you should still have a certain amount of followers. You should. I don't still, disagree. You sh- there. There still needs to be a barrier of entry, um, but I also think you need to charge everyone who currently has a blue check. But what does it matter? What, what's what does it matter if if ever if anyone has the ability to be verified? What's the harm in it? I don't. I don't know. I just don't like it. <laughs> you don't even spend time. The only time you go on Twitter is to complain anyway. It is. It is. It is to complain. Uh, Either and- about companies or about me. So like, what difference does it make? <laughs> You subtweet your husband on Twitter. Yeah, you thought I wasn't going to call you out? I did. Um, it's horrible. You tweet. This is a woman, a Missy, Jess. I don't think that they find anyone any else. Out, any, anyone else out there? Priscilla. Anybody who might be watching this. This the, this the lady Why y'all. Like I got a fan. This is a lady. This, this is a lady y'all stand. Huh? Power you stand to the her? people. She's subtweeting her husband on Twitter. I do. The whole time I'm sitting directly across the room. On the couch from her or laying next to her in bed. Act right. Is this your queen? <laughs> what? Is this your queen? I'm no I'm not trying to be anybody's queen. Is this your is this y'all's I, girl? I don't know. I just don't like I don't like what Twitter's doing. Um It's change. Nobody likes change. Change is uncomfortable. It's, but it's a different kind it's of just a controlled, no, it's just change. It's a controlled strategic it's, it's, change. It's just change. 
And it's I no really different. hope that this provides. I remember when Facebook used to. I'm speaking. I really hope that this provides someone the inspiration, motivation to create their own social media. I mean, new 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 apps pop up every. Uh, but I hope every it takes traction. All the like time. we, I said it a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> we need an actual black Twitter. The twit. No. So, do you remember how when Facebook? What do you mean by no? No. You saying black people don't deserve their own Twitter? Well, what's, what's, what's the Cory Booker uh, gift where he was like, first of all, no. Second I, of all, I'd like to say it in Spanish. No. <laughs> so, no. Why don't black people deserve their own social media? I didn't say they don't deserve it. It's not necessary. Well, they, it is. No, it's not. Just like we had our own dating site, Black Planet. What, what threat is there to black people now that did not exist before Elon bought Twitter? The N word. The N word didn't exist before Elon was on Twitter. It has free reign on Twitter now. I think they said it's gone up like seventeen hundred percent the usage since he like lifted that. And you don't find that interesting? You don't find that peculiar? I do. I find it funny because I'm well confusing because I'm like, is it just black people tweeting like, but this? What if it's not black people? What if it's not white people? It's not even Americans. You think it's just Twitter bots? What do you think? What if it's Russian bots? I mean, do we forget be. about do we forget about Russian influence? I mean, no. I mean, they're there. Okay. I'm do just... they know the N word? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why are you laughing? Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Why is that so funny? What do you think Putin was calling Obama all the years? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there's you don't a think, Russian equivalent. You don't think they? You know there are black Russians though. There are like blacks who had migrated yes, to Russia. Absolutely, and they live in like the cold part. Sure. I mean, all of Russia is cold. But. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm I'm quite positive that they know the N word. They and it's is it's that like an international word. universal word? Like, do does everybody know it? I guess so. I, I'm going to tell a story. I might actually say it, say the word because it like adds to the story. So I had a friend in high school. She was Vietnamese. Her parents, like she was born there, but she came here young. Um, her dad used to pick me up uh, and drop us off to school because my house was on the way to school. So I'd call her. He'd pick up and, you know, give her the phone. One day I called and... Um, he was essentially trying, he, his English was horrible. He was essentially trying to tell me that she wasn't home. Now, to this day, I will, I will swear on it. This deuce. <laughs> you might have to believe it. Please. I'm certain. She was Vietnamese. Um, and she used the word too. I don't, I don't know. Again, anyway, the, we can circle to that. But I'm certain he said Nigga called back five o'clock in the <laughs> thickest Vietnamese accent. So I went and told my parents. I was like, so I called. I'm not gonna say her name, and I'm pretty sure her dad said. I said, can I speak to? And he said, oh, she's not home. Call back five o'clock. Like I know what I heard. I know what. I, and I told her. I was like, I'm pretty. I know your dad said this. And she was like, I don't think so. And I was like. I'm pretty sure he did because like she would control the radio in the car. So like she's playing rap music like on the way to school. And granted, I'm only in the car. For, I live down the hill from school. So I was only in the car for like four minutes going and four. So eight minutes a day. But they were still like she lived like 15 minutes from me. So that's still 30 minutes of additional exposure to all of like to fat joe and we know how fat joe feels about the (laughs) n-word so i remember like really grappling with this like this old vietnamese man really just (laughs) go back (laughs) (laughs) my my parents were so like tickled by this like they they let like and there was no doubt in their mind that he said this but and and it wasn't even like i 
I don't think he said it like offensively. I think he just said it like <laughs> I just hear this word all the time, and I'm certain that black people use it. Like it, it's used for black people, so I'm just gonna say it to my daughter's black friend. <laughs> so that's probably the first and last time y'all will hear me say that word on the show. But I just need like I just randomly thought of that, and I needed to to share that little high school memory. And I'm sure. In the off chance as she listens to this episode, she's probably going to message me and be like, Jess, I know he didn't say it. And I'm like, I know he did. And I'm not even mad. I'm not mad about it. Let's just own it. Like, the old Vietnamese man said when we call back five o'clock. And you know what? I called back at five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what we were saying. I'm sorry. Oh, the N word on, on Twitter. Um, it's the cavern. I remember. I remember when uh, when Facebook started making all their changes, and people were like, "Oh my gosh, this is horrible." We need to go to MySpace. We need to go here. We need to go there. Didn't we leave? Grew MySpace to be. For twi- grew for to Facebook? be. No, people. You know, well, yeah. People like we need to go back. <laughs> um, and then Facebook grew to be the biggest social media site, like in modern history, Do you and see still Twitter is today. Becoming the biggest social media site in modern. No, history? but what I'm saying is, is that. Most people are averse to change, mm-hmm. I mean, and especially I like when, and let, let alone when it happens at at a breakneck pace. So, I think a lot of what's happening is just overreaction. And then, to use cousin Mark's favorite word, everything is so sensationalized. Um, I was so tired of that word. <laughs> everything is sensationalized, so people are you know, wilding out. But I mean, Twitter is is actually very important. I to like, American I culture like and then and then the culture and you know there's because there's American culture and then there's a culture the, the real culture yeah. the true culture so I don't think it's I mean you know it's private and he had to finance his purchase and there's some interest due that he has to pay uh, every year and it's going to be interesting which I, I think is another reason why you're seeing a lot of this everybody can pay eight dollars because they got to generate revenue mm-hmm. and you know, so I, I think that that's uh, encouraging. You know, a lot of a lot of what we're seeing, which is why he laid off fifty percent of people. It's the easiest way to get. You know, to I'm curious how the workload is going to be distributed because now those fifty percent that are remaining, are they going to absorb the work that that uh, that fifty percent that's lost? So now you have these people who are going to be making the same pay and doing more work. Well, I don't know. But I know, I, I know the rumors are that he had people working like around the clock, like you can't leave. Not you can't leave, but you need to get this done. And the only way you can get this done is to like sleep at work to get the code or whatever finalized so that they could open up the verification for eight dollars. Like, and he initially started at twenty five and dropped. It well, down I, I think that's to an affordable eight. I think that's getting people more comfortable with the idea of eight you come down from 25 people are like, oh that's more reasonable i mean and i get it it's business you do what you got to do i i mean this is what happens when you sell a social media platform to you a think i might villain. get to finish the thought tonight just curious because i could have hit you with the, i'm speaking and maybe it's the cabernet i don't know but you ain't let me finish the thought yet we got asides about racist korean dads <laughs> we got Vietnamese. The, oh, I'm sorry, Vietnamese. My my sincere apologies. I thought he, I thought you said Korean. Um, yeah, I just want I just want to finish it up. I'll stop speaking. You can keep speaking. Just wait till I finish. Just reclaim your time. Thank you. Um, and so the with the layoffs, but you know, did you hear? It? Apparently, they've called some people to come back because they didn't realize that <laughs> they need them. <laughs> Well, I mean, you think about it. He came in and then made layoffs, like mass layoffs, like a week later. But this is why people no, 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 need no, regulation. But, well, sure. But again, it's a private private company at that point. But as someone who owns, who's worth that much, there's no, you should have more sense. Like, I, I think it's a different, it's a different type of company than the companies that he's mm-hmm. built. So... I mean, what else not has a, he built outside of Tesla? I think he he was a co-founder of PayPal. Was he? 
Um, uh, he's built SpaceX, Tesla. I think they brought him in. Oh, I thought SpaceX fell under Tesla. It does not. Nah. Um, Tesla brought him in. Yeah, I don't think he. I don't think he founded he the company. He was. Tesla. I don't believe oh. so. I think he was brought in. Um, but this is all based off of his mama's money. So I don't know. I don't know the Elon. Money. I don't know the Elon Musk story. I don't, my knowledge of him only goes but so far. But uh, I feel like Ashton Kutcher is going to play him soon. Sure. Maybe. Didn't he play Steve Jobs? He did. He's like the new biopic white guy. He looks more like Steve Jobs than Michael Fassenbender, who also played Steve Jobs. Because like Michael Fassenbender doesn't look like Steve Jobs at all. I feel all. like I see another white guy in my head who played. I think a few people have played Michael Jobs. Michael Fassenbender. Well, that's a name. He um, played Magneto in the in the X Men, the newer X Men. He played uh, the slave owner in Twelve Years a Slave, the really oh, racist one. Yeah jerk you said the really racist one like the really no, i mean they were all racist but he was like really he was like racist racist like, you played that role just a little too well he did. Like, he, you dropped the end and i think he got life. he got not he was he was ruthless because he, he wouldn't let he wouldn't let Peter. yeah he wouldn't let lapita go what was her name in the movie patty patting mm, peace something patsy patsy i don't know if that's accurate I just I don't, it's that. it's something close it's something akin to that uh no nah, he was he was really good and then you know my my conspiracy theory when a white person plays a racist too well no actually racist because brad pitt's company uh oh, produced brad pitt it made himself the hero <laughs> right how he had to be the one to deliver the note like come on brad but it's brad so i'm gonna let it slide mm. well? i mean he did jennifer aniston dirty i'll never get over that what did he do uh left her for angelina jolie Oh, because they had chemistry on the on the set of the Mister and Mister Smith. Yeah, I remember that now. I, he was there. It was Jennifer. He was. He was married to her. They were married. Yes, that's yeah. different. Yeah, that's. So I've never, I've never really looked at Brad Pitt the same. I mean, were you part of the relationship? No, I'm just a Jennifer. <laughs> and I, I was a Jennifer Aniston fan. Did she call you to cry on your shoulder or something? No, but I just, I was like, oh, I scoffed. Mister Mister Smith was a really good movie. Have I seen it? I don't know. I saw it. Of course you saw it. I was I was in high school, I think. Then I wasn't old enough to see it. <laughs> I mean, it's been you can still watch it. Like I know, you know, movies today. <laughs> There's so many movies that I have. Like I can't think of. I mean, I'm sure you've seen at least pieces of it. You've I've seen, seen it. yeah, I've seen pieces. Uh, um, but yeah, I'm like Brad Pitt in this movie for a whole seven minutes, and he he, he truly like. The white savior trope of Hollywood, but neither here nor there. Um, how did we get here? I have no idea. I talked about his mom. Oh yeah, yeah I was, and you were saying Ashton Kutcher, and then okay. yeah, I don't, I don't know the Elon Musk story, but I know it's, it's just a different type of company, and um, they were already struggling with revenue, like. How are they currently? How they, are they making they, revenue before him? Uh, I mean, advertisements. They do ads. Yeah, and then they they most recently rolled out like Twitter Blue. What is Twitter Blue? Um, it's like less. I think it's like less ads in your timeline. You um, oh. get features. So you, if you have Twitter Blue, you can edit tweets. They just rolled that out. I need that. Yeah, and then there's other there's other things. I'd pay for that because I I will post a tweet and I'm like, dang. Um, it already starts getting traction. I don't see the need especially when you can author a tweet directly underneath the original tweet and you can just put mint whatever put an asterisk i don't know how to do that i didn't know that you just go to the tweet and then scroll down and it says add tweet and then you add the tweet oh you said author so I no know. i'm saying you could just say well author because you would i'm sorry you could just write a tweet underneath the tweet that you originally wrote you think I couldn't handle you using author? Well, you said author, so and you were confused as to what yeah, I was saying. I so. used context clue and figured f- figured it out. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I don't have masters. No, I'm not. I wasn't. I, I thought you were confused you by my author a tweet. He authored a tweet. I thought you were confused Whereas by my. The rest of us retweet. <sighs> I thought my diction confused you. <laughs> 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 so I I I Let rephrased. Me Let me stop. <laughs> You weren't confused by my diction? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, no, I get confused by diction very frequently. Whose diction? 
<laughs> Talking about very frequently. <laughs> Who's? No more trips. All right. You say I don't get diction frequently. Frequent. You better not be getting no frequent diction. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. You heard I get no frequent diction. <laughs> Shoot. <this>. Um. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. It's interesting. It'll be interesting. <laughs> interesting to see what happens with Twitter. At the end of the day, Elon Musk is a super villain in the. Making. He's not a super he villain, is. and this this goes this goes along with what I talked about last episode. I don't understand. People just automatically villainize rich people, he's, wealthy he's, people. He's a super and I don't understand why. You let the Elon Musk, your Jeff Bezoses, your Kanye's when he was a billionaire, and you stretch that blanket out over all billionaires, and that's just I don't put the blanket on black billionaires. A lot of people do. When they say billionaires shouldn't exist, that's including everybody I don't else. Mind billionaires existing. I just think Elon specifically is a super villain in he's the making. Not. He's going to space. I mean, like these are super vi- like literally this is a Marvel movie. Okay. What's is it red hour? Or this is DC com. I feel like DC is right. more has red more hour. like legitimate. Are you gonna play for you gonna pay you gonna get verified? You gonna pay eight dollars? No. You're think you you thought about I, it. I, I won't lie when I first heard it, I was like but then, it, but then it's like, why do I need a blue check mark? What a, does the blue check mark get me? Do I a, get seen more? There's a saying. You you do get priority in replies and whatnot. So yours would get bumped up. Okay. That's it. Assuming there aren't fifteen if, other I'll say verified. This, if in Megan the, McCain was still on the view, I would pay to have a blue check mark. Cause my when I would when I would troll tweet her <laughs> when I would troll tweet her foolishness, I got a lot of traction on Twitter. Once okay. they got rid of Meghan McCain, I just like my Twitter. So you know, this is the Trump effect. My Twitter went dry. Like CNN. I guess so. Trump went away. Their ratings dropped. Well, I mean, bring Meghan McCain back. No, I don't want her back because she gave me heart palpitation. But no, I do think that this is a DC comic. There's there's a saying. He, what? That if everybody's verified, nobody's verified. So then everybody's just paying to be on Twitter. Well, there's no separation. Like the the whole point of verification was that there is a separation mm-hmm. that's why i said there needs to be a barrier to entry like you no, still I, need to have a certain minimum number of followers uh, i think there's pay. i think what they'll do <clears throat> because it's obviously not in its final state right and hasn't i don't think it's even officially launched yet they've announced it but i think it's i think they're gonna do it after the midterms um i think there'll be tiers of verified like public figure verified mm-hmm government official verified journalist verified okay. actor verified. and then just the verified person basic verified yeah. minimal basic verified. so how Bare do we know verified. how much of twitter was affected with once trump was removed what do you mean because you were saying your point your previous point cnn lost ratings after the trump effect due to the trump effect mm-hmm. once trump was banned off of twitter did that hurt Twitter in terms uh, of I'm sure it did. I don't I didn't look at their um their earnings after cuz a lot of the forums, you know, they would tell you um how many daily active users they had like last quarter as opposed to this quarter or whatever. So I didn't I didn't go and look. I would imagine there was some impact because Trump created his own mm-hmm. um social media platform. I told you I almost worked for that, right? True but, social, yeah, by accident. Oh, uh, you should have. I should have, and I almost should have went in there. Like, which, like, what's I the actually, movie? I think I made a profile because I thought I was gonna. <laughs> I thought I was gonna do it, and then I realized what it was. But they had like yeah. sent a a requisition, and they were like, "We need moderators to go in who can handle blah blah blah." So I was like, "I got this." No, I didn't. Um, I would have gotten into some fights with people. So it's true social. There's parlor. Um, so I'm sure there was some, but the thing is, like, question. You, is it true that Parlor is owned or was owned by Candace Owens' husband? We, talk, we talked about this. He was a CEO. We or is the CEO? We this. did talk about it. No, we did not. Yes, we did. No, the we first didn't. Kanye episode, we talked about it. No, I mentioned we didn't. it. Okay. You might have, if you mentioned it, I didn't grasp it. Because you weren't listening. It went, I I'm just. just too worried about that addiction. <laughs> <laughs> you thinking about your next. 
Stop it. <laughs> yes, I, I, I heard. <laughs> Mother listens to this. Um, so they think that that's a finesse. She played him. She played her own kind. Okay. Anyway, um, carry on and finish your initial point. I'm just saying I'm sure there was some impact, but you notice like a lot of public figures don't have a truth social account, a parlor account and a Twitter account. I, I did not I mean, you notice wanna, you I still, did not notice this. Like on was, both sides of the. Yeah. Like, um, no, not both sides. Like right wing people will have a truth Probably. social so a they parlor and they need to spread their mistrust. And some so now some people will leave. I mean, I'm sure they'll they'll come back now that Elon is there in the. So is he is he Republican? I think he leans moderate. Is independent with regist- is a registered independent, but he said he's according to him he's always voted Democrat up until he said this year. He said he's going to vote Republican because he feels like there should be balance. So he actually encouraged people. I guess because the Democrats technically have majority in the Senate, even though it's even. Um, in the House, he said people should consider voting Republican. Yeah. Hmm. And people are all up in arms about it. As as they should be. Because I mean, this is a super villain in the making. <sighs> telling you. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't think it's much to do about nothing, but. I'm telling you, he's a super villain. That's just me. That's just me. That out. Um, I'm good. You're good? I'm good. That was a lot. That was. <laughs> so, and and I feel like Lars and MJ's son is old news. Is it? Yeah. Oh. They went out together for Halloween. Yeah, they are rumored of have, having been together like a couple months ago. But that I know, but I didn't really process it. Until I realized that they were out together for Halloween. And then I realized that Larza was married to Scotty. Which means that Larza probably knew... I don't know MJ's son's name. Michael Jordan's son's name. When he was a kid. Yeah. Or... Do you don't think that's weird? Like, I'm, she may or may not have been around when he was born. Like, sent some flowers. And now you're dating him? Um... Do I think it's weird? I'm not concerned about the age gap. I think it's a 20 year or 20. I mean, I guess. But I think that's odd. Imagine like one of your friends who's known Sala since she was a baby. And then, you know, she's 20 something and then they're dating. That's that's uncomfortable. Yeah, I smack the shit out of him. You just smack him? Yeah. I'm dating my daughter. What's wrong with you? It was diff- but that's different. It's not my kid. <laughs> <laughs> Lars is not. I don't know Lars. Okay, that's okay. So it's not weird for them. It's weird for somebody in Sol- that equation. Solace would never. No, she would not. I know. But I'm just saying that's that's the the best example I can give. No, it's weird. It's weird. It's very Um, I'm good. You good? I guess so. We can continue because I feel like we hit everything. Oh, the Powerball is. Uh, what time did they do those? Eleven, right? Eleven twenty. Eleven twenty. So the Powerball is tonight. So if um, yeah, I don't see us next week, or if the next time you see us, we are in a studio, an actual studio, <laughs> an actual studio with a live studio audience, with a crew, you, with a with the actual camera just crew, hire people to come and sit in the audience. Yeah. Uh, that means we won. Otherwise, we'll be back next week. <laughs> we'll probably be back next week. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll try to get an episode up and recorded uh, before we depart. Depart. Head out of town. But um, you go- I have so many final details to lock in. Yeah, I need you. I need you to get on it. Appreciate it. I need your credit card. I need mine. Because I do. Because I do. Why? Because I'm not gonna put everything on my credit card. <laughs> it's your birthday. Um, vibe tribe. Uh, we are gonna get out of here. So, as uh, we normally ask you to do, follow. Make sure why you're following you, us why do on. You look like that. <laughs> like what? You look like you were gonna say something inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to close this out. Okay. Facebook and Instagram. We are not on Twitter. 
and uh twitter's scary i don't want to be on twitter it's scary i have to tell you we boosted a post and people came for jessica she oh was like God. i don't want to do this we anymore. never talked about it they were so now we I did talk about this. it did we yeah you were like they're so mean they oh were, my now i see why they say don't read the comments i was in i was all up in there there needs to be some kind of filter that says nice comments and you can just somebody like said that. i didn't i wasn't too bright oh it was they it was horrible it was, it was fun i was like i don't want this it was fantastic. I want this smoke? That's a very small taste of what it's like. If you think about it, if you want to get famous, famous. Anyway, people gonna be coming for you. You gotta be on point. Close it out. Instagram, Facebook, like us here on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed so you know when we drop episode new episodes. Usually Wednesdays, Thursdays. And um, shout out to everybody listening on our audio platforms, Apple. Spotify, Google, tune in. And uh, yeah, that's it. We'll be back next week. Anything else? Mm-mm. All right, y'all be good. Stay uh, stay warm for those of you who are here on the East Coast. The season is changing. Uh, happy voting if you've, uh, if you've already voted. Hopefully your side won. Hopefully democracy wins. I'll be watching Wolf Blitzer. Tomorrow night with the exit poll number seven o'clock, baby. Don't bother me. Don't ask me for nothing. I might, I might take it in the garage. Have my, have my cigar, my whiskey. Nah, I won't do that. We gotta put Blood Wolf on the on the big screen. Make sure you put in your budget to pay for your blue check mark on Twitter. On Twitter, yes. Make sure you know what that comes out to a year. Let's find out. It's eight times twelve. It's like six hundred. Ninety six dollars. Six dollars. Wow, I was way off. I said six hundred. <laughs> it's eight. <laughs> it's a hundred dollars a year. That's it. That's not bad. I wonder if they let you pay a lump sum up front. If I, I and get a discount. Yeah. Pay for like, the year, get like ninety. Fifteen dollars off. <laughs> no, they're just gonna they're gonna take that six off. Anyway, let's uh let y'all go. Yeah, y'all go get some diction. All right, we out. See y'all next week. <laughs> going for some growing pains. Yeah. None but some growing pains. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I done came way too far. Can't stop me now. I done came way too far. Can't stop me now. I done came way too far. Can't stop me now. I done came way too far. Can't stop me now. Can't stop me now. Can't stop me now. Yeah, I don't